I'm looking in the inside now Claiming what I lost and found I'm on this journey Returning to the old me What's up? What's up? Welcome back to another vlog Yeah, it is Saturday um, I didn't pick up the camera yesterday because honestly, y'all, I was, your girl was beat down. I was so beat down Friday. <laughs> Literally, I was in my computer screen. It felt like all day long. So, Friday, I just like took some time to myself. Well, I actually ended up going to Tasha's house. But outside of that, like, I, baby, mama need a break. Mama needed a break. And so, that's what yesterday was for me. Now today, I gotta get my house and get myself in order. I got this hat on because, I'm gonna be honest with y'all, I'm tired of that bonnet. I cannot, why does my camera look like it's tripping? I really need to figure out what I did to my settings because I'm over this. But y'all, anyways, um, I'm over that bonnet. It cannot... I cannot, no, I don't know what I'm going to have to go get, like I'm going to have to get, if I'm going to, can't even talk, if I'm going to have to get some turbans or something, like to just have on, but it's something about being on that bunny on camera that's just not doing it for me. I was just re-watching my vlog not too long ago, and I'm just like, ugh, I do not want this bunny on my head, so I need to go figure that out, because, yeah, no, but today I am going to do my hair, um, finally going to do my nails. I need to hang up all the, I just took the clothes off of my, because I had them th thrown on my floor in my room, in my closet. I picked them up off the floor and I put them on my bed, so now I have to hang them. Um, and then what else are we going to do? I'm going to wash a load of clothes. Um, honestly, this weekend vlog is more like a reset because I need to reset my home and I need to reset my life. <laughs> as far as like taking care of self-care things. I need to go and get my eyebrows waxed. However, baby, it's the first of the month. Rent just snatched me up out of there. So there's food at the house and these eyebrows can wait until a later date. Um, but outside of that, that's really, that's really, that's really it this weekend. And of course, church tomorrow and the girls. I'm about to I need to see what they plan on eating tomorrow so I can make a grocery order. And um, since this vlog won't be too long, whatever we cook, I'll probably like do a little cooking segment. Uh, because I haven't been putting them in the last two vlogs, so I'll probably do that. But y'all, I'm trying to decide if I want to do a quick weave or a bun. <sighs> I don't. I don't know. We will decide. But if I need, if I'm doing a bun, I need to go to the hair store and get the hair, cause I don't have any braided hair. But I'm gonna have to go to the hair store anyway because if I do the quick weave, I need a dark brown wig cap. So either way it goes, the hair store has to see me. So yeah, let's actually let's go there first, and then I'll come back and do everything else in the house. Let's get outside out the way, and then. We'll come back. So, I'll be back in one second. Okay? Okay. Alright, this is my running errands outfit. Literally, I'm just going to the hair store. And, um, yeah. So, this is it. Just a cap, a tank, some slack pants. Not some slack pants. Some, y'all know what I mean. Some pants. My new favorite slides and this blue jean jacket I got from Dee Dee's and we about this thing. We about this thing. So got my phone, put this drink back in the refrigerator that I had grabbed. Look, I brought the clothes in here, need to wash. Child. Um let me get this off of my counter. Put this. You know what? Before we go. See, this is what happens. I be having too many thoughts going through my mind. Um, let me actually. Whoop. Please don't fall. Let me actually, uh, cause I had washed this cover from when my friend was here. I had just washed it yesterday, and I forgot to put it in dry. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, that smell good. While I'm in here, I might as well start it. So by the time I come back, 
by the time I come back, they'll be ready to go on the drive, right? That's the that's the most logical thing to do. So don't understand like I just had a whole plan but here I am about to start washing clothes but it's whatever I'm gonna let that fill a little bit so I can put the clothes in them and then um then we'll run out cuz baby y'all I saw a total of six journals Yes, six journals on my first day of launching. Six journals. And I'm gonna just I'm gonna just let God do what he does. Um that made me smile. Um uh, yeah, I'm just I'm excited. Uh y'all will probably see the video, but the 29th of March is my last day of work officially. I submitted my two weeks, not my two weeks notice. I submitted my notice, um, but because I'm doing a assignment right now, a big project, um, I'm gonna push it to the 29th so I can make sure that, you know, my duties are fulfilled before I leave. Uh, but yeah, the 29th is my last day of work. And I really thought that I was gonna discuss this in this vlog, like in a better style, but whatever, we're here. Let's take it a minute. I need lip gloss, so hold on. It's us children in the laundry room, me. I need to do a deep mop. I'm so tired of being an adult. I'm like, this is good enough. I'm ready to go. I'm sorry, Daddy. Hey. Yeah, so. I, I was in the middle of talking to baby. My camera says storage full. Delete something. Delete something. So I left my camera at the house. I am going to film off of my phone. Um, it feels so good outside. But y'all, my car is so nasty. It's so nasty. But next weekend, I plan to go like get a detail. I had to budget that into my spending money because the inside and the outside of my car is horrible. It's just a trash and <sighs> yeah yeah so this gum is so good i need to stop by my office because my key fob to get in my complex i literally be having to bang it for it to work and i'm over there like that's just so ghetto i paid too much in rent to be over here do do duping something to make me be able to get in the gate and i'd have been in there two times already and every time they want to tell me ain't nothing wrong with it this time i better get a new key fob or y'all ain't getting y'all rent maybe yeah, y'all ain't getting y'all rent. And it's just that on now. Cause I ain't hit the payment button yet, but hmm. So you better not can tell you. And this is what old folks said. But y'all, let's go. I need to get gas. I need to get air. I need to get all of the things. Oh, I ain't got no cash, so I can't go to the air place. Because I don't like going and not being able to tip them. Um, let me figure that out. But y'all, my clothes is going. I'm about to run to the hair store and I'm just gonna get some a pack. I'm just gonna do a bun. This I'm just doing a bun. I don't feel like standing in front of the mirror. I don't feel like I can't commit to that right now. <laughs> but then I feel like the bun gonna make me mad because I'm gonna still have to I'm going to just do the quick weed, get it over with. It'll last for like two weeks. Then we'll come back. We'll come back and figure it out. Let me come back and figure it out. But let's go, y'all. Let's go. 
yeah so as i'm driving i just had to be real honest with myself i'm not finna i'm not finna do no quick week <laughs> I'm just not finna do it, so I'm going to get braiding hair and some hoops because my um my big hoops. Cause when I wear my bun, I be wearing my hoops. My um my my hoops that I got, baby, they faded. It's time. It's time for some new ones. <laughs> so that's it. We getting braiding hair, hoops, and uh, oh, I just blew my tongue. And um some gel and that's it like we just gonna do it and i'm just gonna have to be intentional about tying my hair up at nighttime um because i cannot i can't do the quick weave i can't do it right now i can't i can't do it i'm just not i'm just not in the mood i'm just really not and i promise you i cannot stand i don't know why but it's like it's so much harder to record on my phone with hold my hold my phone when i'm recording um, I keep getting a message. What's up, gal? You got me turning my neck like this girl, trying to read your messages. Um, but yeah, I just, I just can't, I just can't. So we about to head there. I need some gas, but I don't want to get some gas. But I need gas. But I'm gonna get gas in the morning on my way to church. Oh, um, <laughs> cause I'm just not, not doing it tonight. Um, but yeah, that's that's it, y'all. That's it. I just wanted to come and say. I've made my final decision and we're gonna do a top knot bun and call it a day. So so yeah. I know people be looking at me like who she talking to? I'm talking to my guys. I'm talking to my sisters. Yeah. But y'all let me let me go. This gum is so good because I ate all day and it's 139. I ain't even had no water, no nothing. Baby. And Wendy's a fofa fo is really calling my name. <sighs> Y'all think I'ma do it? Y'all think I should do it? Y'all think I should do it? I think I should do it. Yeah, so we gonna get that on the way home. <laughs> Look at me treat myself to a fofa fo. I'm out here treating myself to a puff puff puff. How dare I complain about a man trying to take me to the Cheesecake Factory or to Applebee's? I'm excited about a four for four. Take me to eat dinner. I mean, take me to dinner, boo, babe. And if you really, you really want to show out, take me to Chili so I can give me a, a, what is it, the three for 25 or whatever it is. Let me give me an appetizer, a dinner, and a dessert. Okay, listen, I am not one of them. I am not one of them. Baby, I just like to eat. <laughs> All right, y'all, for real. Bye. Yeah, I have never, never gone into the hair store and spent under $10. I spent $9.80. Like, I have never gone into the hair store and not spent more than at least $20. But what I did do was I got the stuff for the bun and I also got a wig cap just in case I changed my mind, you know, later on this week. I have the wig cap with me because I already got hair glue and all the other things at the house. I just needed a wig cap to do the actual quick weave. So I did get that just so it'll be there. But yeah, yeah. Now let's go and get, um, let's go and get my faux faux <laughs> Because I had put like $20 to the side for hair. So now, now I'm not going in, I'm not going into my stash, my bill money. Yeah. Yeah, and now I can get a large ruby instead of a small. <laughs> whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. All right, y'all, for real. Let's go. I really hate this parking lot because you got to go all the way down the street, bust a U-turn, and then come all the way up just to get on the other side of the road. Texas, I don't know how y'all came up with y'all road system, but somebody needs to go back and figure it out because this is a hot mess. Okay. I'm used to like just going across the street, but I gotta go all the way down. It's such an inconvenience to me, but it's okay. It's whatever. Hair stuff secured. Now let's go get my food and go back to the house. Okay, last thing. Y'all Texas drivers make me wanna curse. Like the drivers here, it's a lot of things that I could snap about but it's the driving that be making me about to lose my religion. 
because can y'all don't come out on me i'm tired now like i'm over here going all around the whole dang on world just so i can get back on this side of the street Whew. all right i'm done i just need to get that off my chest because i was a little upset good morning good morning good morning welcome back welcome back welcome back today is monday <sighs> and y'all we're here we're here i am about to <laughs> gather my life but i do got on some clothes i am like kind of semi-prepared oh jesus i am kind of semi-prepared for today i'm gonna have to relax that's why i got my cover back there no hard labor for me today <laughs> All I'm doing is working on my Shopify website for A18 and outside of that, and that is all. But I just want to show y'all my little lounge was set and like how I look because I just feel like, ooh, I'm recording on my phone because I have not deleted storage, um, deleted stuff off of my camera yet. But let me show y'all because I feel cute walking around in the house like this. So, one moment. Baby. Yeah, it's this little one piece set that I got from from Walmart, and then I just put my cardigan on it because you know, you know me, you know me. But yeah, I just think this is so cute to lounge around in. And y'all, I still ain't still ain't did nothing with it. But mm -hmm, yeah, I just think this is cute, and that's. That's all I wanted to say. I'll check back in with y'all later. I'm about to go and delete some storage off of my phone so that, I mean, off my camera so I can record on there. So, peace. Peace, peace. Flesh of my flesh and bone of my bone. She shall be called woman. It was all woman when you saw me. Any real people in this room? Soften up the mess. Drop it in the water. Let the daughter find an image with the rest. She'll be learning how to breathe. Spinning through identity, reveal another pretty little scheme Save her mind Hold her hand And don't believe a lie You understand me Walk her down the valley Pack a piece of heaven for the bottoms of her feet Teach her how to jump and how to stretch when she reach Like the angels do And you gon' make it through now Tell about the healer Greater is the one within Teach her how to hold a pretty hand up to the sky And I'ma wait up on the giver He'll deliver like a dealer to take her higher Higher Fly out the valley and the fire Take her Show her every door and how the windows let the sun in. Copy out the key and tell her this is for me. Okay, what's up, y'all? So, clothes is folded, clothes is hung up. I am sweating because I'm not understanding. How did I get here? Y'all, I had a whole pack of new hangers and I barely got oh, this lightning. I barely got seven hangers left. Who did this? Like, my closet is finally actually looking like a closet and there's nobody but God. Literally nobody but God. Let me show y'all how dedicated. Excuse me, how dedicated I was to getting this shot. This is how I had this tripod while I was putting the clothes in my, uh, <laughs> while I was putting the clothes in the closet, baby. I was dedicated. I'm like, I'm trying to be like the grass and get out of the angles. I wish that I didn't have all this stuff on this side because I could have put it over there, but it's whatever. Now I'm about to go and finish unloading my dishwasher and then I'm about to start on dinner in a few minutes, but yeah, I just got another order. Y'all can't see that. 
I just got another order. Anyways, um, let me finish doing what I need to do. And then I'll check back in with y'all later. Peace. Isn't it just like me to have a Walmart deliver something? Y'all, I hate going to the grocery store. I literally hate it with a passion. So if you can deliver it to my house, deliver it to my house. Another thing of Coke Zero. Cheese. Queso. Sour cream. Darito. And then ranch for tomorrow's dinner. And that's that. Yes, I had them deliver this. I pay for Walmart Plus for a reason. Okay? No judgment. Alright? Alright. But I'm about to fix up these tacos because ash is on her way over we're gonna eat um some tacos for today everything is clean so when she leaves tonight all i have to do is shower and get in the bed i already know what i'm going to work tomorrow i'm proud of me i'm proud of me i'm proud of me i'm proud of me <laughs> She's made it. She's made it. what's up what's up y'all we got a new angle but um so between my bible study last night and my bible study this morning i've been reading matthew and um i want to pose a couple of questions to you just so you can ponder on it and think about it or whatever so in matthew 26 verse is let's just read 10 through 13 Aware of this, Jesus said to them, Why are you bothering this woman? She has done a beautiful thing to me. The poor you will always have with you, but you will not always have me. When she poured this perfume on my body, she did it to prepare me for the burial. Truly I tell you, wherever this gospel is preached throughout the world, what she has done will all also be told in memory of me. So I want to pose the question to you. Good morning, beautiful people. Good morning. So I just wanted to bring you into my Bible study time or whatever and ask you a question that I had to ask myself. Um, and so I was studying Matthew 26, and you know, that's about when Jesus was anointed anointed at Bethany. This is about the lady with the alabaster oil, you know, that expensive, expensive perfume. Um, and But we're going to focus on verse 13. It says, truly I tell you, wherever this gospel is preached throughout the world what she has done will also be told in memory of her so i wanted to pose the question um that i asked myself what if your legacy slash memory is tied to what you're willing to give up for jesus what if your generational blessings is tied to what you are willing to sacrifice for jesus what are you willing to give up for him 
what's up what's up i realized that i never introduced today vlog um today is tuesday y'all know it's office day i actually got up on time but i was in the bible and i ended up you know spending too much time um well it's never too much time for god but you know i lost track of time and now i'm still rushing to get out the house but um i just want to show y'all my little outfit of the day and this is it just this little top from dds these pants from dds and then these mules from ross you know i'm keeping it very very cute and comfy today got my hoops on because you know hoops gonna do it every time with the bun and yeah let's let's get up out of here y'all let's go 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 let's go 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 y'all today is gonna be an amazing day i feel it i can feel it in the atmosphere that the presence of the lord is here uh, i can feel it in the atmosphere that the presence of the lord is here ah uh, yeah but no, nah, nah, for real, let's go so I won't be late. Because we just don't need to be late. So I'll check back in with y'all a little later. All right. Bye. Yeah, so I wanted to check in with y'all on my lunch break. But I literally got so sidetracked um, and forgot to do that. But I am back in the office and child. I'm so ready to go. I am so ready to go. And let me just say this. God makes absolutely no mistakes. I couldn't understand why he was really pushing me out of this job. But today, so many things was revealed to me. And let's just say God was protecting and he was blocking me from getting caught up in the wrath of what's about to come up into this place. And so, whew. I'm just so grateful that he loves me so much that he protects me from me and that he didn't allow me to stay in this place to where all hell is about to break loose in so many words. So, yeah, but I'm going to check in with y'all when I uh, get off. I just wanted to come and do a little update for the day. But, yeah, see y'all later. Y'all, so it is 9 o'clock at night. And... I've been knocked out. I don't know where the sleep came from, but it knocked me out. <sighs> I'm about to go get in the shower, and we're going to call it a night for Tuesday. I will check back in with y'all in the morning. I'm about to shower so I can go back to sleep. But I love y'all, and be blessed. See you tomorrow. Today's going to be great. I know it. I feel it. I'm believing it. Are you going to have a good day? Yeah. If you woke up on the wrong side of the bed, roll back over. Even if you can't physically get back in the bed, roll them emotions back over. Roll that mindset back over. Roll your attitude back over. And have a great day. Because today is the day that the Lord has made, so we shall rejoice and be glad in it. All right. All right. Bye, y'all. What's up? What's up? It is Wednesday. It's another office day. And y'all, we kind of, we all right on the time. Well, kind of, sort of, not a, kind of. Uh, But I just wanted to come in and show y'all my little quick little outfit of the day. I done went through three outfits. Don't know how I ended up on this. But here we are. Let's show it to you so I can get out the door. All right. All right. It be so dark in this hallway, but this is the outfit of the day. Some black slacks, a white top, blue jean jacket, these pretty gold shoes that I got from Dee Dee's, and just gold accessories like always. Still got the bun, but yeah, y'all, that's it. Let's get up out this house okay because i do not want to be late okay i don't want to be late so 
I'll check back in with y'all in a little bit. Bye! Yeah, what? Prophesy for a minute. I see you in the future. What? And you look better. I see you walking in favor. In prosperity to you. Uh, let me encourage you. Let me speak life to you. You can depend on God to see you through. But what you can do? You can depend on me. To pray for you. Yeah. So first off, Willie Mo Jr.'s radio station is really, it's really, it's really good. Um. Also, I left work and came back, and ain't no park, so I don't know where I'm gonna park at. Um. But I ran to Wendy's to get me a little bit to eat. Um, let me turn this down, Willie. Sorry, can't hear you right now. Um, but yeah, ain't no parks, and I don't know how I feel about that. But I'm about to eat real quick because I am hungry, hungry, hungry. Yeah, today has really been a great day. Amen. Today has been a great day. We got discipleship classes tonight. I am too ready. We in week five. Yeah. It's moving along. Um. Y'all, when is really gonna do it? My coworker just told me yesterday, download the Wendy's app. I downloaded the Wendy's app. They got a whole bunch of digital coupons on there. And I went to Wendy's and forgot all about I had that app on my phone. Oh. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Mm-mm. I don't know. All these people looking for a part. I'm hoping by the time it's time for lunch, somebody didn't live. Well, by the time it's time for me to come back for my lunch, somebody didn't live. Mm. Yeah. I love the Lord. He heard my Crown. Did y'all did y'all go to an old school Baptist church? Huh. I did. And when I say it's old, it was old school Baptist. It was old school Baptist. Like when you joined the church, it was like da 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 da. Say I I, and then you became a member of the church. Not it's not like they voted you in, but you know what I mean, like. What the deacons had to say a uh, single hymnal before they started praying. I don't know how I just thought about this, y'all. I'm just forgive me. Forgive me. I just think I miss y'all, and so I'm trying to find something to talk about because I really, I really miss y'all. Oh, that's burnt. Yeah. Mm. My coworker just asked me. Not my coworker. My manager just asked me, "Do you think in the summertime you'll want to um like work again?" <laughs> I'm like, "Baby, in the summertime, I have a six-figure income. The only work I'm gonna be doing is for the kingdom of God. Period." Period. Yeah. She was like, continue to learn how to do proposals now. Mm -mm. If God don't call me back, I want me back. And I just don't see him calling me into another job right now. Oh, is that a, is that a bank parking? Or is that a regular parking? Mm. 
Is that a bank parking or a regular parking? See, I don't want to move and then that be the bank parking. Hold on, y'all. Let's go see. Oh, somebody else leaving. Let me see where they going. Are they delivery drivers or they got a car? Let's see. Cause we got a parking garage, but I ain't never parking in there. Okay, I feel like some people didn't live. I'll be right back. Baby, if they wanted me to just uh, try to um, burn off some calories by doing a little walking, I mean, that's all they had to say. You know, like, tell me. Please tell. Oh, Jesus. I'm so sorry. Please tell me because, um, yeah, but that was definitely a bank parking. But luckily, I'm on the other side Well, it's actual parking and not a delivery truck parking while I was in it. So, I think I should be good right here, but yeah. Anyways, I just wanted to come and check in. I won't keep y'all. Me and you must never part, Athena. Bye, y'all. I'll check in with y'all later. Since y'all don't want to stay with me. I thought y'all loved me. But I guess y'all don't, so. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I cracked myself up. Bye, y'all. What's up, what's up? What's up, what's up? I am officially off i'm sitting in the car i'm trying to figure out what i want to do because bible study don't start till 6 30 and it's just 4 30. um i could go home however comma i just feel like if i go home i'm not gonna want to come out and like who want to drive 23 minutes that way just to drive 23 minutes back because if y'all didn't know i can't get on the toll roads right now because you push it back a little bit um because sister grab still all the toll tag people i should have brought me some clothes and when it worked out that's what i should have did but guess what should have could have would have i didn't so i ain't um yeah. I need to go to Walmart to grab um to grab something. I gotta tell y'all my business. <sighs> I do need to go to Walmart, but if you know me, I hate going inside that store. Like I love Walmart plus because of curbside and pickup, but I do not like going inside of Walmart. It's too many too many scents and it makes my allergies start stirring up so my nose start burning and i get a massive headache every time i go in there so i try to stay far 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 away but i just want to check in with y'all see what y'all up to i'll probably go sit in the parking lot of somewhere and do my little bible study I wanted to record a video, but I don't know if the sun going to act right. So, I'll just do that when I get home tonight. But, that's all, y'all. I just wanted to check in and say, hey, what's up? Hello. <laughs> all right, y'all.
what's up what it is what's up church was good tonight baby church was good tonight baby y'all let me get y'all delicious feel um no i don't like the angle <laughs> let me get y'all don't like the angle either we'll come back over here let me get y'all <laughs> a little a little rundown about church baby bible study classes discipleship classes a1 mama flowers she's really she's really that lady you know she really gonna have you leaving that church convicted like she made me want to like really really like just getting my word and make sure i'm you know living a sanctified life and yes that's the goal but have you ever had a teaching that was so good that it stirred up your spirit and made you so hungry to really serve and live for jesus like that's how i felt tonight you know like i want to be a 19 i mean a 19 i want to be revelations 19 7 like let me rejoice because the wedding has come and the bride has made herself ready. I want to be ready and I want to be blemish free, spot free. I want to be pure. I want to be sanctified. I want to be holy. I want to be righteous. I want to be just. I want that to be my portion. And I want to make sure that this platform and um the life that god has given me the anointing that he has given me i want to make sure that it's never me but it's all of him so i just want to make sure that my heart and my mind is in right standing with god that it is pure and that um that is not for self but it's all for the kingdom of god and his righteousness like i just uh i don't know it just put another Whew, like it just got me ready like i'm sorry i keep moving this because i ain't got my little tripod and my my arms hurting baby i'm tired i've been writing all day but anyway church was so good also y'all so i get to church today and we in the lines to get ready to walk in and i met a subscriber i met a sister i don't want to call y'all subscribers um i met a sister her name is Brittany, and I wanted to, like, get with her, like, after the discipleship classes, but the way they uh, moved us this time, I didn't get a chance to, like, talk to her again. But, Brittany, if you see this here video, please inbox me. Like, inbox me, girl. Let's talk. Because I really didn't want to, you know, talk to you after. I thought I was going to be able to talk to you after new member intake classes, but I met a sister in Christ today. She was like... Watch you on YouTube, y'all. So at first I said I wasn't gonna say anything. I was just gonna like just not put it in, put it in a vlog and just like let that be. But no, I actually want to acknowledge something that happened to me today. And for some, it might not be huge, but for me, it feels so good because um it was like god was answering one of my silent prayers and so yeah anyway so i get to bible study tonight and um and it's so it's so crazy because god's timing is so perfect i had been waiting on arlena to come but she never like walked on the side while i was at so i literally ended up coming in the building at the perfect time so when god says trust his timing trust his timing even with, if we don't know why we're waiting and all these how did this turn into a whole message trust god's timing wait to the to the next clip so i can say what i'm trying to say but i'm actually gonna finish what i was saying about trusting god's timing like so many times we get so overwhelmed we get so anxious we be trying to move so fast we get frustrated when you feel like you know we just waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting when in reality sometimes god is just like i have you sitting still i have you waiting because it's something that's happening at an appointed time where i need you to be there at that specific time and that's what happened yesterday i thought i was waiting on arlena but god was like no you was waiting on the right time to walk in the building because i needed you to have this encounter to confirm to you what it was that you have prayed to me asking me anyways i walked in the building and this beautiful woman of god now a sister she spotted me and she was like i watch you on youtube yo she noticed me and 
I just, Brittany, if you're watching, I love you. I, I just, ah, thank you, girl. God, we made it. Mm, mm. God, we made it. Mm, mm. God, we made it. Ah, ah. God, we made it. Yeah, yeah. Nah, y'all, that just really just made me so excited. I was so nervous. Like, I don't know if she probably noticed it, but... I'm sorry about moving this camera, y'all. I really should have got my tripod out, but I didn't think this clip was gonna be so long. But y'all know me. I just love to talk. Um, but I was so nervous. I didn't know what to say. I didn't know how to react. Like, of course, I'm friendly, so I gave her a hug, but like I was just so nervous. I don't know why it caught me off guard. And what's so wild is God told me maybe a few days ago. Well, I ain't going to say he told me, but I was in the bathroom and I had this impression that the first person that's going to recognize you is going to be a person from church. And I was like, God, no, not in the house of the Lord. Y'all know how God always reveals something to me. And because I don't want it to be like that, I always reject it. And he does it anyway. Like I straight Straight up told him don't let the first person i meet be somebody that i meet in the house of the lord like no no god no and he said you said no when jesus says yes nobody can say no not even you and so <laughs> He said i'm gonna do it this way and baby that way he did it and i'm just so girl girl Y'all don't be knowing, but, like, I be saying a lot of prayers, like, in private. And my prayer last night was, like, God, if this is the avenue that you're calling me to, if this is what you really want me to do, I want to see a miraculous thing. And I said, it doesn't have to be, you know, nothing that is so extravagant to the point where you know you send a donkey down here or with a note that said God is calling you to do this I said I wanted to be so specific to who I am and I want to know that it's from you and so I feel like that was him telling me like you are doing what I called you to do just stay the course and continuously seek me um and so my prayer is like God continue to fix my heart continue to mold my heart um decreasing me increasing you um I just really want the Holy Spirit to guide me and move me and order my steps on this platform um everything I do I want to do it because I want to see my sisters and brothers in Christ saved I want all of us to hear well done my good and faithful servant and I know I've said that many times but truly I tell you I just really want us living <laughs> A life sold out for Jesus and just because you live in a life sold out for Jesus does not mean you don't have to have you can't have fun that doesn't mean you don't have to have a personality so I want to show the good the bad and the ugly of following God but I want to do it in a way that shows that God created that personality in you he put that in you for a reason now let's not get um Let's not get carried away. God didn't put hate in your heart. He didn't put being mean towards people in your heart. He didn't put all that cussing and negative language in your heart. Like, no, I'm not saying like the person, that negative personality, he didn't give you that. That's all from the enemy. That's not nothing about God. But the personality he has given me, I know that it is to reach the people that he has called me to. So I just want to show people that you can love God have fun you could you could really enjoy life and not be living in sin and i just really want to see all the captives set free and captivity looks different for everybody you can be a captive in your finances you can be a captive in your mind you can be a captive in your purity like you know walking in unpurity you can be a captive um in your temple like you can be a captive in so many ways generational curses bondage fear anxiety the abortion spirit so many ways you can be a captive but I just want all of us to live in the freedom that God has given us like he has given us freedom and we deserve to live in it Jesus paid a high price for this freedom that we got and like we don't need to be taking advantage of that we need to live in it in the fullness he did not get beat he did not get spit on he did not get talked about for us to be living enslaved to bondage and trauma and anger and hate and all these different things but y'all let me let me dive down i'm about to eat my dinner 
and relax for the night and i'm gonna catch y'all in the morning because apparently the word was so good and it got me fired up so i'm gonna eat and then i'm gonna go do me a bible study i need to spend some time with god because apparently i got i got a lot to say i got a lot to say and i need to talk to him about it so he can help me Whew, yeah i love y'all i love y'all so much i love each and every one of y'all and i thank god i thank god for y'all and whoo i just pray that we we truly live in the freedom um that god has given us like jesus died for us like literally go and read i think it started at matthew 26 go and start there read that i literally was reading that the other day um and i just started bawling thinking about what jesus did for me for me he went through that for me how dare i how dare i still live bound to my old life how dare i allow the enemy to play with my mind how dare i do i not allow myself to um walk in all that God has for me. How dare I not give God the room to cleanse my heart and to renew my mind? How dare I not go after God's children and try to truly help us walk in all that God has for us? How dare I not become a disciple? How dare I not do what God has called me to do? But for real, y'all, I'm done. No more tangents. No more tangents. I'm turning the living room light off. And I'm about to, I'm about to chill out. So, I'll catch y'all beautiful people and y'all handsome men tomorrow. Bye. What's up, gang, gang? Gang, 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 y'all. Today is Friday. I didn't pick up the camera at all yesterday. But I did do Arlena's hair yesterday um and that was it <laughs> i tried to record a video yesterday it was not working um i just was not feeling it so here i am uh i do plan on doing whew, my quick weave today but because i'm about to be on this camera mm, i was close because I was about to, because I'm about to be on this camera for a little while, you know, talking to y'all. I'm like, until I do my hair, let me gather my life. Because I told y'all, I'm not trying to be on this camera with my bunny. So, I'm just going to put it in this little bun. Whew. And then... Y'all think it's like 10.30 or something. Um, Y'all know I have to work. I be at work for 8. Ooh, that's a little tight. Oh, Jesus. <sighs> I have to be at work for 8. And, um, oh, let me show y'all. So, I went to Pop Shelf. And they sell jewelry. And I did not know that. I got this. Is it going to focus? I got this cross necklace. They had these rings. You get four of them. And then this double chain necklace. Yeah. I went and bought those. I, I went in there just to look. Um, to waste time for Bible study. But I seen those and I was like. Y'all know I'm not turning down a gold necklace or gold jewelry and the fact that the rings fit like what i want i want all parts also i took my red nails off and i did these just i just wanted some short nails i just wanted to be able to feel my fingertips for a little while and then i want to be able to do a good braid down for my quick weave um so that the next time I take it down, all I got to do is just like wash the braids and then redo my hair. Um, so yeah, that is that update. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? I think that's all for now. Um, I'm about to, I need to make groceries. 
um, which I do that Sunday. Um, I do that Sunday, but I need to, jeez, I'm rocking y'all. If y'all rocking, I'm rolling. <laughs> uh, now I'm so close to the camera. Okay, let me put my mouse and my phone down. But I need to find me something to eat. Uh, I got like pancakes and sausage, but I don't want breakfast food if I ain't got no eggs. And I ain't got no eggs. So, there's that. Let's see. What's in the freezer? <sighs> Shrimp. Tilapia don't take long, but I don't want no tilapia this early in the morning. Mm. Maybe I can do shrimp and grits. Do I want that? You know what? Let me see. Let me see what time it is now. Yeah. Oh, it's 11.04. Um, look at this. Can y'all see that? Hold on. Focus, focus. Wendy just told me I got a free 10 piece. So, it sounded like I'm just gonna wait and I'm gonna go to, look at this one piece of hair sticking out. Um, I'm gonna just go to Wendy's and get Wendy's for lunch. Come on, like, stop playing with me. Stop. And y'all, my little friend trying to come visit me and so I feel the Puby bumps trying to come this weekend. It's gonna be a very chill weekend for me. <laughs> Your boy is tired. Which crazy? What's crazy is I'm not really tired, but I just feel like my body needs to rest. Like I need to just lay and do absolutely nothing. I can't tell you the last time I laid down, watch TV without my phone or without my computer trying to do anything business or ministry related. So I think I just want to have like a moment where Kiara just put her phone down and Kiara just soak into her criminal minds, her Chicago shows like I just want to soak in my bed and just watch TV with no phones, no distractions, just me in my comfort zone, having my form of self-care. So that's probably what I'm going to do. Um, I need to go out and buy me some sneakers. I don't know why, but this this here, the lady time of this month, got me craving chocolate, but sneakers specifically. And I'm not a sweets girl. I'm not a chocolate girl. I'm a chip girl. But the fact that I'm craving sneakers like this, it's insane. It's insane. It's, it's pretty insane. So I'm going to go and grab me a sneaker when I go out. Um, and I'm supposed to go to the car wash tomorrow. Um, I was going to go and go let them detail it, but y'all, let's be honest. My funds do not say detail. It says you go and you clean it yourself. Um, I told myself, I'm like, what? I'm going to spend on allowing somebody to detail my car. I can put half of it in my tank and spend the other half on a car wash. And I'm killing two birds with one stone with, 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 one, with one little coin. And so I'm just like, that's just the most responsible thing to do. Yes, I don't feel like doing it. Um, however, I have to steward well what I do have because... Mm, yeah, I need to be able to save. Um, but that's it, y'all. Today was supposed to be the day that we were supposed to go out to take pictures and stuff for my um, 818 business. However, I feel like I was trying to like rush the creativity portion of it. Um, and I don't feel like I've sat with God long enough to ask him to give me vision for what he wants the website and like, you know, the social media platforms to look like. And I felt like it was overwhelming me because I was trying to think so hard. And I'm like, you didn't have to think this hard about nothing else because you allowed the Holy Spirit to speak to you and give you guidance and to give you what he wants it to look like, to give you the vision. So I'm like, God, I just want to sit with you and allow you to speak to me about the creativity portion of it because um 
I will overwhelm myself and I'll get so frustrated if I go through all of this work to get all these pictures and I don't like it or when I put it together it doesn't make sense so I'm just like yeah no we're not gonna do that but I don't want to make this too chatty so I will check back in with y'all um when I get ready to I just hate Wendy's it's so it's like eight minutes down the road which is not long but it's literally a straight shoot and it seemed like it just take that road forever to get to the other side because it's literally so long. But, um, yeah, so I'll probably check back in with y'all when I get out to go get me some lunch. Um, yeah, so that's it, y'all. Peace. My lips is so dry. I need to get some lip gloss and, like, keep it right here so I can always just grab it. Grab it and go. Grab it and go. go. Okay. Bye, y'all. Bye. Y'all, so I changed my mind just that quick. <laughs> I am going to um whew, so y'all, I changed my mind just that quick. I'm going to actually make me some pancakes and some turkey sausage. And then I'll just save my Wendy's for dinner maybe um so i won't have to cook tonight because i like i said i just really want to relax so that's what i'm gonna do let me put some water in this plant before she starts dripping over again because you know she's very dramatic she is very dramatic honey she's so beautiful though let me get these parts off of her that look they look a little dead I should have took those off but I just don't like the way they look so if y'all don't know this is a plant that I brought home from my granny's funeral let me actually go get a Tylenol I'll grab it so yeah you just take the Tylenol Oh, I need to take my mama. She got to send me my care package. My mama sent me medicine. Um, she sent me because I have severe allergies during the summertime. Like, I'm allergic to mosquitoes and stuff. So, um, I stay with Benadryl and stuff. Um, because when I get bit, I itch, like, I itch out of control. Like, what's the word? I itch uncontrollably. <laughs> so I try to keep Benadryl on me. And um, my mama sent me naproxen because um, even though I'm not on my blood pressure anymore, um, whenever I do have a spike in my blood pressure, um, if I take two naproxens, it's the same as what's in the Lazartan. So it helps me. Um, and so, and she sent me Tylenol. She sends me vitamins. She does that like every other every two or three months um and so it's time for her to re-up and she also got to send me my tag for this uh month so my car tag is about to um expire and i'm not ready to get a texas tag so she's going to renew my tag in vicksburg and she's going to ship it to me so i need to call her and tell her to put tylenol in my care package too but yeah I just gave my baby a little, a little life. Look at her, y'all. She's so beautiful. Let's see. She's so beautiful. She just uh, stopped sprouting up. Them the leaves I just took off. <laughs> but yeah, what I need to do is buy myself some old flowers because it's been a long time since I treated myself to some flowers. So. But yeah, y'all, that's all. I was just coming to um tell y'all I'm about to actually make me some pancakes and some sausage. And I will check back in with y'all later. Bye. Um, the 10 piece honey uncho um fried mm -hmm. bone in. Mm-hmm. Uh yes, the basket.
Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, I play y'all do. Okay, thank you. Girl. Sis. The wing sauce that I get. It was limited edition, and he said that they might not have it. So he about to go check in a bag to see if they got a little sauce left. Y'all, if God is on my side, if the face. Hey, I'm having enough for your wings. Oh. You want to do a wing basket? Yes. Uh, yes. Can I do the potato wedges instead? I'm sorry. Sure. Sure. Is, you want the cheese on the side, right? Yes. That'll be all. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. All right. The favor of the Lord is upon me. Uh, in my hands, this big city wings have more than enough. Hey, more than enough. Uh, surely goodness and mercy is following me. And my God will supply every one of my needs yeah yeah he said let me go check the bag you know you know when god is on your side <laughs> people will go above and beyond for you because anybody else could have just said it's discontinued babes we ain't got it but he said let me go check and see if we got a little bit more left over for you now let's get in this car so i can be up there and get my food <laughs> I gotta take this suit off because um it's not it's not appropriate for outside. Um yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's go and grab me something to eat, okay? All right, I'll check back in with y'all in Ooh, in a minute. Yeah. I'm back. Not my camera cricket. Whatever. I'm ready to eat. Y'all I'm back. Stop and got me a root beer from Sonics. Now, let me show y'all the food. I asked for a small cheese, baby. This is the large. My side of ranch. Ooh. Yeah. Mmm. Y'all, y'all gotta look at these wings. They call honey uncho cheeses. They call honey uncho. So good. So, so good. Um, I am about to chill out. Chill out. My hair is not getting done today. We'll try again tomorrow. But for now, take this jewelry y'all. About to wash these hands. I'm about to wash some TV. And I'm about to eat real good. I will check in with y'all. Maybe a little later. So, peace. Y'all, so I am editing a video. And I put this pillow up because I just feel like too much of my body was out. Um, <laughs> And so, uh, yeah, I'm editing this video. And, baby, God had me, like, spilling all the tea. Do you hear me? All the tea. And so, I'm doing this tonight, and I just came to, like, close out the vlog for tonight. Um, I'll probably pick y'all back up tomorrow, but tomorrow is definitely going to end the vlog. So, I can get it recorded and uploaded it. Up, uploaded for Sunday or Monday. So, yeah. Just wanted to come and close out the vlog for tonight, and I will see you beautiful people tomorrow. Yeah. All right. Okay. Ooh. Wait, all right, so this is editing care. And now I get why the, <laughs> the YouTubers be popping in and be like, hey, what's up? It's me. It's editing care. Y'all, so on Saturday, I got so much footage um, that I'm just going to do, I'm going to do a last Saturday through Friday vlog. 
um because that one is already at an hour and six minutes and then i will follow up with a saturday and sunday vlog um yeah so it'll be a day in my life kind of vlog um i'll just do that one with saturday because it's literally so much footage um so yeah we're gonna just do that um and so i am here to close out the weekly vlog and just know you got another vlog coming from saturday and a little bit of sunday because i really did do a lot sunday but just know it's coming two vlogs because literally i was up to an hour and 30 minutes when i had included just a little portion from the morning of saturday so yeah y'all got another vlog coming y'all got another vlog coming that's all i'm that's all i'm saying so i love y'all and stay tuned baby Bye. Y'all, I broke a nail. But y'all, 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 y'all figure that out in the next, on the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> All right, y'all. Good night. I will see y'all in the next video, okay? All right. Peace. Some things really happen for the best.